In Leviticus chapter 11, it lists a series of dietary laws that were made for the Jewish people at that time. Pork is on this list because the animal was unclean. But why did God say this? And what does it mean for us today? Pigs are scavengers, they eat anything. And God wanted separation between his people and other groups. But is it sinful for Christians to eat it today? The answer to that question is, no it's not. It's not sinful, but you still may not want to eat it. Jesus Christ later declared all foods clean in this passage here. Hey, shalom, shalom. Call law, y'all by shim, y'all shab, by holocaust, for that. Y'all by shim, y'all shab, by shim, call that's a of thumb. Double honest, our apostles, our elders, rule well. Blessed citations to you, brothers out there teaching and enduring truth sincerity. Let us sincere uh, have a thumb to the innumerable multitude that are amongst tears and the uh, women and children that follow the truth sincerity. Uh, so this is a lesson going over um, the video that's in post-production. And um, yeah, man, this is just a prime example on why uh, the, the Christ why Christianity is losing, okay? So within the discussion, getting straight to it, within the discussion, uh, it was pretty much stated that uh, the guy pretty much made a reference saying that, you know, um, that in the Old Testament, that is, it was off to, you know, eat defiled animals such as pork, you know, and he broke it down. And then he said, you know, he referenced Mark 7 and 9, 7, 19, which I'm going to get. But I want to I want to say this, you know, because they 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 beguile people, um, as the scriptures say, you know, um, leading silly women away with diverse lusts, man. And um, as it, it, it's, it's the same old rotation of wickedness, whereas the serpent always is coming to beguile the woman, you know, and the woman is, is a weaker vessel, you know, so she's very she's more subject to, to be broken and persuaded to sin more than a man, as the scripture says. Matter of fact, we're going to get that. So, yeah, I, I'm going to say this before I say anything. I'm not going to go through all this like. We both do it and they do it and it's not a tip for tap. We just gonna get into the details, get into edification, and we're gonna move along. Okay. So we're gonna go into uh first Timothy chapter two and fourteen. Um and it says, um, for we're gonna go thirteen, you know, um it says, For Adam was first formed, then Eve. Okay? And the and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in trans was in the transgression. OK, so. Um, so this is just proof. And there's, there's a couple other scriptures, about two or three more scriptures that I know of that pretty much said, um, you know, the woman became the beginning of sin and things like that. Uh, so I say that to say that the women are more subject to be persuaded to go off. OK, it's not hard. And what I'm saying is not far fetched. And, uh, you know, you can tell in reality, which is why, you know, all of our women love, they love their lobsters, you know, um, they love their, their, their butter, whatever. They love to dress and to uh, break laws, not because, you know, well, women are wicked, you know, as um, Solomon proved that. And then the scriptures also say in Sirach, you know, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman, you know, which is going to be a different lesson in a different time, you know, um, but at the end of the day, you know, a, woman, a righteous woman is a righteous woman, but a righteous a righteous woman is way more easily broken than uh, a righteous man. Okay, because Adam and Eve, they were in a, a righteous state, but the woman was was deceived first. Okay, so getting back to the lesson at hand, the deception that this guy is trying to perpetuate is that, you know, being that it's the Old Testament and you know you you couldn't do that because of the rules because of the laws and then now we're in the new testament and this new testament says this and this is what jake you know are, are manipulative is that the lord never said that you can break the laws he never established that there's no reason that he came so you can break the laws he came because we were breaking the laws and that the, our sins were punishable unto death, and that the Lord going to uh, 
Abaratazai doesn't lock up on me. So we're going to go into Jeremiah, though, Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 8. Okay. Um, the scripture, this is my counter to the scripture, you know, because everything is line upon line, precept upon precept, upon precept here a little and there a little, right? And in their situations, these guys don't read, you know, and they try to find any vague state, any statement that's vague enough to attach it to anything else. Like the word all, they're just attached to everybody, you know, um, and we'll get the scripture, but uh, I'm going to read this first. Jeremiah chapter three and eight says, and I saw when for all the, the cause whereby Israel backsliding Israel committed adultery and that adultery was doing what Cov take a covering of a covering, but now the most high spirit pursuant to, I believe Isaiah, the 30th chapter, you know, and adultery, the Lord said, don't put no other God before him. Don't serve no other God. Don't serve no, uh, to obey him. Okay. So once you started, when a lot of people started being Greeks and, um, start serving Zeus and, 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 and in these times, um, white Jesus and, and things like that, then you're taking another covering, okay? That's just simple and plain. You're committing spiritual fornication, okay? And spiritual fornication is pretty much adultery, okay? And if you ever wonder how adultery works, then you're messing with a, you're married because what Israel is a comely and delicate woman. The Lord re refers us to a woman Therefore, we're married unto the Lord. He's the husbandman. And it says that all over the scriptures too, which is why these Christians, Christians are going to fail miserably because there's so many years behind of not being scholastically inclined of the scriptures that they just would think anything is everything, everything based off of uh, Babylon, okay? But that's, you know, getting back to what we was here for. It says, and I saw where when for all the causes whereby backslide Israel committed adultery pretty much by serving other gods I had put her away and have given her a bill of divorce yet her treacherous sister Judah feared not but went and played the harlot also okay and that's going into all these doctrines being Scientologists being a, a, a you know Republican a Democrat you know in all actuality you could you could low key be a Republican a Democrat you know what I'm saying but you shouldn't even be into no no foolishness like that, you know, because it's vain, because it ain't nothing but bread and circuses, you know. But at the end of the day, um, once you start believing in uh, 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 the Big Bang and, 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 and uh, all these theologies and ideas that um, Esau brings out or anybody else brings out, you're taking a different covering, all right? When the Lord says that lying with a, a, a man as you lie with a woman, that's an abomination. And then you say that, and then Esau says that's love. And then you start believing that you're covering with a different covering. Okay. You know, uh, um, people do that a lot. They, 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 that's why the scripture said, lean out to thy own understanding. You start thinking what's right in your mind, but it's what the, you have to filter everything through the scriptures of the Lord. Okay. So, um, therefore, our people take coverings. Sometimes they just do it on their own because of their own, so they can, um, um, they don't want to come to the light. They want to, because their deeds are evil, because they want to consume things upon their lust. So they create an a idea in their mind and then say, God told me to do this. But when you go into these scriptures, the Lord said, hell no, don't do that. And that's why people are running away from the Old Testament and the New Testament. They run, some people even run away from the Bible, period, and just want to claim the most high. But overall, they want to claim the Old Testament. I don't want to claim the Old Testament because the Old Testament clearly states in fine print saying, don't do that. Underline bold writing. And that's why they try to avoid it. Because it's a clear cut that you're wrong. You're in the wrong. Okay? So, um, going to Matthew chapter 7 and 19, where this guy just mangled it up. And he tried to use this, Matthew 7 and 19, Mark 7 and 19, not Matthew 7 and 19, but Mark 7 and 19, because it, in, it, because it entereth not into his heart, but into the belly and goeth out into the draught, purging all meats. You know, um, Salakia, I don't know, I think it's 7 and 9. Let's see here.
Well, yeah, yeah. That's the 7 and 19. And, uh, and it says, And he said, That which cometh out of, verse 20, That which cometh out of the man that defileth. And he said, That which cometh out of the man that defileth the man. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, and murders. So this is the BS. This is why the Lord going to smoke a lot of these niggas. Because it's clear, if you read and if you notice, the that's why I was talking about the beguiling in the beginning. He broke, he broke the uh, uh, the laws down with uh, with the, the the dietary laws, the, the hoof and this and that. And then he just pointed up at the mark and said, "Well, this say you can," and then left. Why he ain't break this down? Because once you start reading, it tells you. That's all you got to do is read, man. But these TikToks, like, they just say things. And then, and then adios, and then you, you'll believe it. So it says, because it entereth not into, uh, you know, um, the Lord is pretty much saying that you can hear, I can sit on YouTube, and I can listen to, I listen to the same TikToks as everybody else. You know what I'm saying? So I'm receiving all the information that they're receiving, but it's not about, it's not about what I'm receiving, it's about what I regurgitate and what I believe, Okay. So if somebody tell me I can eat pork and they break it all down and make it sound good, I'm like, hmm, that, that sounds about right. And then I read it and I'm like, no, that ain't right. And then I, then I teach others that, hey, that's not right. That's what comes out of me. And that's why the Lord said in, in, in verse 20, he says, uh, uh, verse 21 says, from within, out of the heart of men, not the meat. He said, what, what, he always referenced the truth into meat, huh? Right? He says, give give meat unto them that are of age. Okay? He referenced it to honey and things like that. And it's crazy that you want to be spiritual when it's time to be literal. And you want to be literal when it's time to be spiritual. Oh, it's talking about meat. It's talking about real dinner. But he referenced, you know, uh, uh, the meat. It says, from within, out of the heart of men, proceed of evil thoughts. Adulteries, fornication, murders, death, covetousness. That's not no, that's not pork, turkey, lamb. He didn't say that. And then you go into the Peters when the, the quilt was laid down and say, I, I don't eat things uncommon and things like that. And then he didn't get up and go to the swap meet and go and get a, a pork plate. Okay. He didn't do that. What, what, what did Peter do? He immediately uh, uh, got up and, and went to the two men. It's two men, okay? So it's, it's really common sense, which is why I said that's, that's why we all push that these Christians are going to get smoked because it's, it's, it's right there. There's no excuses for believing that. You want to. You know, you establish what you want, okay? So let's get this scripture showing that... Um, let's see here. For Hebrews chapter 5, and I'm going to make sure it's the point is in 14. But um, I'll start at 12. It says, Hebrews 5 and 12 says, For when for the time ye ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again. So now here's the, here's the, here's the meat to it. Okay, this is a different term from meat that I use, which means like the core. Okay says, for when the time you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again. So it's talking about what? Teaching, education, right? Uh, and which be the first principles, oracles of the um, principles of the oracles of the most high and are become such as have need of milk and, and not of strong meat. So the Lord related the, uh, the uh, teachings that there's meat scriptures and then there's milk scriptures. Now, what are parables? Parables is, is uh, 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 heavenly sayings, uh, uh, earthly sayings with heavenly meanings. So the Lord is assuming that you're not that dumb that he says you should, if you're a baby, you should desire the milk of education. And then somebody, just like uh, the guy, when the Lord said you got to be born, reborn, and he said, oh, we got to go back in the womb and come back out. There, there, I guess there are people like that. 
because the Bible put it out there. I guess they are, you know. I can't really argue that, you know. But he says, you know, milk. When you got a baby, you gonna are you gonna give your baby steak? You know. So the Lord is telling you, you should use enough, put two and two together, that if you give a baby steak, it's gonna it's gonna make them um make them sick. Okay, so you can give somebody a heavy scripture and it can make them sick. Okay, it can make them bug out. It can make them, you could bug them out, man. So when somebody's first coming into this truth, they're a spiritual babe. And therefore, you're supposed to give them milk scriptures, the basics. And once they get the basics, then they will progress on into meat. Okay, you chew it up for them. Meaning what? You, 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 you puree it or mince it. And then serve it to them so that way that is edible for them. So what what does that mean that we do? We go find and we go look up everything. We go break it down. And then once you get the, the format of that, then you get old enough. Then you can start looking up stuff. Then you could just quote things and say things. You don't even got to say scriptures. You can say, man, that's off. And then you would know. Okay. So. Uh, going continue on, it says, uh, and, and are such as become need of milk and not a strong meat. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, not in, at the dinner table or at the feast. In the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belongs to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both evil and good. Because when you're a strong meat, there's things that are fine lines of what's wrong and what's right. And a person that, that is of age know how to discern both, man. Just like they're saying that the Lord died for our sins and then they try to twist it as though that you could sin and, and be in the Lord at the same time without no, no regards of, of, of repercussions and, and think that you're evil. Well, who's evil and who's right? How you establish that? It's sin. Sin to sta establish who's evil and who's righteous, who's wicked and who's righteous. The laws. But if you if you telling everybody that you don't have to keep the laws, how you discern who's evil and who's good? Well, who deserves salvation and who don't at this point? Now you it just puts people in a in a in a realm of making them believe that there's something that they're not. Okay, participation tropes. I believe in God, therefore I'm good. Hell no. Just because you put on a Vikings helmet don't make you no damn wide receiver. You know, you ain't got no contract. You don't know how to run no routes. You don't know the playbook. Okay? That's, that's, that's just common sense. But, hey, love is blind. It'll take over your mind, as Eve said, man. So if you love the world, you'll be blind to righteousness, man. That's why the Lord tell you love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. The lust of the flesh, the pride of life. You want to eat all these foods, man? Get, get yourself some discipline, man. All right? So we're going to top it off with this scripture. Hmm. So in Sirach, it says, uh, 2 and 16, it says, They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well-pleasing unto him, and they that love him shall be filled with the law. Very simple. If you love the Lord, you'll seek that which is well-pleasing, not try to make an excuse to do something that's not pleasing unto him, because the Lord says that eating, eating pork is an abomination, a thing that's most hateful unto him. That's not pleasing unto him, so why would you eat it? Why would you touch it? Okay, let's say that the Lord, let's say that that nigga is right. Why would you, why would you touch it? Because he is still an abomination and he didn't undo the abomination of it. All right, he broke it down right there. They're bottom feeders. Lobsters are bottom feeders. Catfish are bottom feeders. They're the garbage disposals of the world. When, when, did, when did that fact change? There's a reason why he said don't eat it. Not just because it's abomination, but they're not good animals to consume health-wise. All right? Them animals weren't meant to consume. If that's the case, go eat a bowl of shit. Why don't you do that? 
and consider that a delicacy. Go put some Valentino's hot sauce on that, squeeze a lemon over a, a bowl of fresh feces and eat that, man. Okay? That's, that's, it's an oxymoron, it's stupid, man. That's why you're gonna be held accountable for your actions. Because there's no reason for you to think like that. But that's all I want to say. With that being said, I'm going to say, call all y'all about Shimei Asha, about Rukokadash, about Shimei Asha, 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 about Shim